Hello good people of the world, all about that is back with another video. How are you guys today? I hope you're doing all right today, tonight, whenever you're watching. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing good today. It's a good day even though the weather is absolutely shocking outside. It's a good day because today we are going to talk about the best sneakers of 2018 in my opinion. Now obviously I'm going to want you to comment down below which 10 sneakers you think are the best of this year. We can have a little discussion about that, that is all fine, but this is just my opinion. Now, some of the sneakers, some of the 10 sneakers will be in my collection. Some are ones that I would love to get, um, but you know, as we know, resale market on some sneakers this year are, well, in past years as well um are you know crazy prices so they might be just ones i have to dream about um but before we get into all that i just want to say if you're new to my channel please subscribe like comment and all that good stuff and also we have a giveaway so when i get to 1000 subs which i'm hoping won't be in that too far a distant future I want to give you guys a lovely dead stock. There we go, lovely dead stock phone booth um, keyring. So I want to give you that, and also um, a load of stickers and all about that sticker pack, some Supreme stickers, some skate stickers, and it will just be a lovely bundle for one of you guys out there. So please keep sharing these videos and hopefully we can get there sooner rather than later. And also, just before we carry on with this vid, I am on, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I am doing a series of Supreme artwork. So this is the second in the series. So I am doing, in my own style, the supreme storefronts of every single store that, you know, is in the world. So at the moment, I've, I'm doing five of London, five of Brooklyn. So this is the Brooklyn store. Um, and so on and so on and so on. So this is one of five of the Brooklyn store. Obviously not quite finished, I need to get this on the back, the red backing. Um, and these are for sale, so if you are interested, please DM me and we can sort that out. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Now this is in no particular order until we get to numero uno. Because, believe me, number one is, yeah, something special, in my opinion. So, the first one is in my collection and it is the ACG Ruckle Ridge shoe. This is a little beauty. I love the detailing on this. I love the fact that they've they've got the um, contour lines in the details of contour lines of the map. They've got mapping codes on it. I'm presuming that code is Portland, maybe the headquarters. Um, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful shoe, and it will be used probably more likely to be in the summer because I don't want to wreck them. Um, but yeah, I've not used them as yet. But as as you can see, we're now in winter, autumn, winter. So yeah, the Ruckle Ridge is a beautiful, beautiful shoe. I love the bottoms and underrated in my opinion. This is a GR, um, you know, sneakers aren't all about just the limited editions. So yeah, I do like my GRs just as much as the limited ones. The next one on the list is one that only came out this weekend. Now, I will show you a picture. I'm sure you all know about it. It is the um, Fear of God Nike collaboration. These shoes are beautiful. Now, there was no chance I was going to be able to buy them this weekend because they're £300 and as you know, I've spent rather a lot on Supreme this week. Um, I love the light bone colourway. That is oh, 
absolutely beautiful to me. I did set my alarm this morning because they were releasing at nine. Set my alarm and I just wanted to see what the size run was because for some reason, I don't know whether you have experienced this, but for some reason, if you contact Nike and ask them what is the size run of blah, 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 they don't know. They don't know until they drop. I find that so hard to believe and it's very annoying. So I, I did set my alarm. I thought, right, let's let's see. See what would have happened if they'd have gone down to a five and a half. Eek. Thankfully, they didn't. Thankfully, they didn't because I don't know what I, will, I don't know what I would have done if they'd have gone down to a five and a half. So, um, mm, yeah. But anyway, they went down to a six. There was no chance of me getting them. No chance whatsoever. But they are an absolutely beautiful shoe. So that is the second one on my list. The third one is, once again, it is a GR and it is the Air Tailwind 79 OG. This has come out in the original box. Um, well, obviously not the original box, but they've just redone the original box. It also came with the socks that um, released back in the day and once again these will be used but probably more likely in the summer I think these are beautiful absolutely beautiful shoes they have got like the waffle racer type sole um, you know the mesh at the top on the toe box really nice suede around the toe and really nice suede on the back um, really just a really lovely shoe I've tried them on and they're so comfortable I also love the the laces really really soft laces and the raw tongue really nice so that is number three on my list a really once again a really underrated sneaker in my opinion that is number three number four is the very familiar box, very familiar box, the Sean Weatherspoon. Now it's really weird because it feels like they've been, um, it really does feel like they've been out forever, it, it really does, it feels like they've been out forever, obviously they haven't been out forever, but with them releasing, was it 2017, the end of 2017 it feels like it, they've been going for a long time but these obviously I, there's not a lot that needs to be said about these anymore I don't think they are a lovely silhouette a really nice colorway I love the corduroy and you can see how much influence this shoe has had on the, the um, shoes that have released since so there's been you know touches of corduroy on different Nike sneakers They've even done it on vans, um, you know. So I do apologise for that flashing. My bulb is being very strange. But anyway, so yeah, I've had numerous patches made for the top. Um, like this one is my origins. So my origins right there all sorts of different patches the next one on the list is uh, I think we recognize the box it is the Jordan 3 black cement and once again there's not a lot to say about this shoe but apart from it's a classic absolute classic um, I've actually doubled up on these. That's how much I love them. Um, the, the, the leather is so soft, so comfortable. Really nice tumbled leather. Um, obviously, you've got the OG Nike Air on the back. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just a really comfortable shoe. It goes with so much as well. Really does go with a lot. Um, yeah, this had to be on the list this had to be on the list the next one on the list is one I don't own 
I did actually, but I sold it because at the time I wasn't digging it really. I didn't didn't really like the silhouette. But since they've brought out numerous colours of this silhouette, it's actually grown on me rather a lot. So the next on the list is the Element 87. Now, as we know, the, the first ones that came out with the sail and the black, uh, I wasn't that keen on them. I wasn't sure whether I liked the sort of the see-through um, appearance. Obviously, they brought out the Element 55s which aren't see-through and like all this, you know, the sort of, um, the cheaper version, as they say, the cheaper version. They do have some nice uh, colourways of the 55s as well. But I did like some of the, when they brought out the undercover versions, I did like a lot of the colourways of that. Yeah, it's actually grown on me and I do think I will probably be adding an Element 87 to my collection at some point. We have a Jordan 1 box. Now these aren't in the Jordan 1 box at the moment because they're in my rotation. The Jordan Shadow Ones. These, again, they kind of have gone under the radar a little bit. This, this leather on these Shadow Ones are so nice. I did have the bread toes, I sold them because the leather wasn't that great I have to say and I didn't find them as comfortable on feet so I sold them but these I would love to double up on I have to say they are so comfortable, the leather is so soft um, the creasing doesn't bother me I'm not bothered about the creasing. I like it when shoes are worn in. I do like it. Um, so these are in my rotation at the moment and these to me are one of the best sneakers of 2018. Now the next on the list, you can see, it's a Jordan 4, the Levi's, Oh, this shoe is so nice. I again have doubled up. This is my double up. I have uh, another pair that I have bleached, bleached, bleached and distressed. These will probably get distressed at some point, um, or I might even leave it, leave them to be distressed naturally. I don't know yet, but. These are so comfortable, they are such a nice shoe. Being a big Levi's fan and you know obviously I'm into my Jordans, I'm into my Nikes. Yeah, these had to make the list. And then we are at two more, just two more. Number two on the list and I have, I have to say I do think this is my second favourite sneaker of the year and I don't own it. Yeah, I've left the last two favourite sneakers this year to the very last. Now, the Union LA Jordan 1s mashups. Oh my god, those sneakers are so nice. I do think I will be paying resale for one of these colourways at some point, probably some point next year. Um, at the moment, the pricing the moment the pricing isn't too bad she says isn't too bad but in modern day sneaker prices i suppose really it isn't that bad but um i do like both colorways i like them both differently so the uh, black toe I do I, I don't know i kind of leaning towards the blue and red but Equally, the um, the black and the white, yeah, I don't know. Both of them are just absolutely beautiful. I am tempted to get some of the clothing as well that Union LA did, because the clothing is just so nice. I love the Nike with the Wings logo they've done. Oh, yeah, super, super, super nice um, sneaker and 
yeah one of those pairs or, or maybe both I don't know we'll just have to see how my finances go next year but I think I will be adding those to the collection at some point so that leaves one sneaker left in my top 10 in my opinion the number one sneaker this year has to be the off-white orange and tan blazers oh my god these sneakers honestly i had the original ogs i had the originals and you know as many of you know you will know what's been in these display boxes since i started my channel and i had the og blazers i've also had the jordan one euro exclusives and i did have the white prestos and they were always going to be sold i'm not a massive fan of prestos but i sold the jordan ones and the original blazers because i was offered an, a ridiculous amount of money and i always said you know when you've got something that's so valuable how can you possibly justify keeping it until these little beauties came out oh my god these are on another level in my opinion another level they do everything about this colorway is just so nice these go with so many things really nice pair of jeans blue jeans oh just lovely i love the blue laces that you you know that will put, will be going in there because of this lovely little blue tab they've done there oh yeah these definitely as soon as they came out I, I i i entered so many raffles and i had to pay resale in the end but i did get a good deal i did get a very good deal um so yeah it's it's not often you say that a um a follow-up a sequel to the original is better but these for me are so much nicer than the og blazer off-whites in my opinion so these folks are at number one for me the best sneaker of 2018 now let me know what you guys think do you think do you agree do you think now nah, you're talking out of your ass <laughs> just let me know what you think do you think these are a good top 10 do you think what i have said to you is a good top 10 or do you think nah i have a miles better top 10 for you now if you do please comment it down below i'd love to hear from you i really want to hear your opinions to this anyway thank you so so much for watching please don't forget the giveaway let's keep sharing these videos and all about that we'll see you on the next one keep it real guys